In this video, I'm going to show you a free and simple web-based browser start page that also will help you manage your bookmarks. So for the longest time, a big problem for me at least has been organizing and managing and accessing all of my bookmarks. Now I've used a lot of different bookmark managers throughout the years, some for Chrome, others for Firefox. Eventually I've tried some for Safari. But the problem I always ran into is switching between devices, especially when that included switching between a Mac and a PC. If I, for whatever reason, happen to be using Safari on my Mac and then I switch to Firefox on my PC, all of my bookmarks are gone. And at that point, I have to go through the process of trying to sync or export or import. And then of course, if I add one bookmark on one device, it's gonna be a pain to get that onto the other. So a little while back, I decided to create a free service by the name of Startboard, which is simple. And you just, it's just a web-based approach to actually managing all of your various bookmarks. So then rather than having to manage and sync all of your bookmarks through various browsers, you just do it through one web-based service which you can then set to all of your various devices, whether that's going to be Safari, whether it's Chrome, whether it's I use Brave or Firefox. And of course it works across all different browsers as long as they have a modern web browser built into them. Okay, but let's not waste any further time. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what it looks like to set up Startboard as your browser start page, as well as to start managing bookmarks using it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and type in our email to sign up for a free account. And from there, you just wait a quick moment and Startboard will email you instructions on how to log in. I'll go ahead and then click the link to activate my account. We're gonna go ahead and give that a quick moment. And then what you'll be able to see is that you are automatically logged in to your brand new startboard.so account. And Startboard is pretty simple. It's got your uh, time at the top as well as the date, so pretty straightforward. And then it's got a nice little search box. But the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna click the button that says add a link. And so this is where we're going to start the process of adding in all of our bookmarks. So we'll go ahead and say, we wanna go ahead and bookmark this to YouTube. Go ahead and give this a nice little icon and click add it. And there we go. We've got our first bookmark added and we're ready to add some more. You don't have to add an icon if you don't want to. I do those just because they make it a little bit more visually easy to see what's what I'm clicking on. But we'll go ahead and add Twitter, also known as X. And then you can just leave this blank and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the first letter as the icon instead. And there we go, now we've added X. Now in addition to being able to create books, bookmarks which show up here in this kind of little bit of an app style layout, so a little icon in square with the name below it, you are also able to add in things that are called boards. And boards are just nice little ways to be able to categorize or organize bookmarks that are specific to various things. So let's go ahead and say, Let's go ahead and click on home and we'll click on the option that says create new board. And under here, let's say maybe this is for work. There we go, nice little palette, click add it. So there we go, we see that right here, we've got a new tab that's been added. And under that new tab, we now have this particular link which says makeable. And so we've got a home page or kind of the starter board, if you will. And this is gonna be, you know, what is the default or the main set of items that you want to appear in terms of your bookmarks. And you can click to create another one. So maybe we want to go ahead and add another bookmark item, let's say. So maybe there is a, you know, bank that we use. And this one isn't work related, this is personal. So let's create a new board called personal. See if we can find a bank icon. There we go, we can. And there we go. So now we've got work, we've got personal, and we've got our main bookmarks as well. Now, if we want to, something that we can do is we can actually click this nice little pencil icon and we can use that to begin rearranging how these appear. Uh, so you can rearrange the order. And then we just click the pencil icon again and that order has been changed. The other thing that we can do after clicking the pencil icon as well is then click on one of our bookmarks if for whatever reason we want to edit it. So let's say we wanted to change the title of this one. Just click save and there we go we see it has been instantly edited now in addition to that we can also click on an icon if we want to we can click the pencil icon and then edit an item if we want to move it 
So if I don't want this to appear on my, you know, main home board, I can move this to my personal board, click save. And there we go. We see that it's now over here with our personal items. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just click that pencil icon again and everything is edited. Now, in addition to being able to move things to various boards uh, or having boards to organize all of these items, you'll notice that there are currently two items here uh, in addition to the main home board. Now, it's only going to show a maximum of five boards here lined up in line with all these buttons. And so if you go in excess of that, what you can always do is click on this icon, which is going to give you a list view of all of your boards. And this is going to be scrollable. So you can just click on any of these and you can always use that to navigate back between any of your various boards. Now, as you start creating boards and you start filling them with bookmarks, it may come to the point where maybe it gets a little bit, you know, crazy and you've got boards that you want to edit or change. You can always do that by clicking this gear icon that's located in the top right hand corner and then clicking on boards. So at any point in time here, you can reorder these. So if let's say you wanted to see your personal before your work and you wanted to change, you know, the title for whatever reason, you can, you can just click save it. And there you go. You'll see that that has been automatically changed. Now you're not able to actually add in boards through this uh, icon or through this section here within this modal window instead just to add new boards all you have to do is just do that whenever you're creating a new item always just click create new board and then you can type that out to add that board in so pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, it's a great way to be able to organize items by category or by areas of responsibility in your life or just however you want to by using these various boards and I do use that personally. However, what I found that I use even more often is just the search bar because all you have to do is just start typing and then it's automatically going to search through all of your bookmarks and then display the items that are across all of your book or across all of your various boards and all of your bookmarks. So regardless of what board you're currently in, if you need to go to another one or you want to search across all of your various bookmarks, you can do that and then you can click and then there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The other thing that you can do as well is that you can just start typing. So it, you know, you, it'll showcase all of your bookmarks automatically as you're typing, or you can just press enter and that's going to automatically search the web. Um, so a great way to be able to use this in two different ways, one being able to search your bookmarks and the other, of course, being able to search the web. And then you can also go up here into the settings and then under options here, you can actually specify which search engine you want it to use. Right now it's got DuckDuckGo, it's got Google, Bing, and Yahoo, and it will be adding additional search engines in the future. So simple, straightforward way to be able to search. The last item I will show you, which to some people might be the most important thing, which is the style. So there are a few style customizations you have available to you, which you can find under settings. And there are a number of different images that you can change it to. So you can change, let's say that you wanted the nice little field of flowers, and then you wanted to change the accent color to pink. You could do that very easily. Let's just go ahead and close this. And there you go. You've got that new style and it will be adding additional colors and backgrounds in the future. But for now, I've just kept it very simple and straightforward. The last thing I will tell you about, and this will change pretty dramatically based upon what browser you're using. However, the last step, once you have finished customizing Startboard, you've added all of the different bookmarks that you want to manage and all the settings and styles. The last thing you want to do is just head on over to the settings for your particular browser. Now I am currently using Brave, which is essentially Google Chrome, but faster and more secure. Um, so I really like Brave, but again, if you're using Chrome, Firefox, the, the settings are all going to be fairly similar, but there are going to be differences, but you do want to just kind of follow these general series of steps to ensure that Startboard becomes the start page on whatever browser you're using. Okay. So if I'm going to be using Brave, I always just start out by clicking on getting started. And then on startup, I make sure that I specify to open a specific page or set of pages. And then I just set this to startboard.so. Uh, then down here, what I'll do is I'll set new tab page shows and I will pick home page. From there, in order to get that home page to work, I then click on uh, appearance. And then under the toolbar, I turn on the option to show home button. And then I set the home page to startboard.so. I also just kind of like the home button in general, anyways, because I know if I ever want to, if I'm on a web page and I want to just 
leave that web page and quickly get back to my bookmarks. I just click the home pit, the home button on my browser and I'm instantly back to my bookmarks. The other great thing is that Startboard saves which board that you were last on. So if you're, you know, at work and you're clicking through all of your bookmarks at work, if you switch to a different computer or to your phone or whatever it is, it's going to remember that you are on work. So that setting is saved automatically. But that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And that's how you get up and running with Startboard. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. If you are a longtime viewer of my YouTube channel, you will know that I actually created Startboard a while back. However, one of the big updates here and why I'm talking about it again is that before it was limiting you to, I, I think it was around five boards that you were limited to. However, I have completely removed any of the caps so that you're able to add unlimited boards as well as unlimited bookmarks, and it's all completely free. So free of charge, it's just, just something that I created out of necessity because I couldn't really find anything that was working really well for me, and I wanted to offer it to you as well. So as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.